Two wheel drive, four wheel drive, or this breaking news I like to bring you. This is your All Terrain Nation. I am your host, David Boyd. And that is right. Some breaking news the uh, Ford Bronco, and you're probably kind of getting worn out on Ford Bronco here on the channel, but it, uh, it's kind of exciting news, and there's not much going around right now. So, uh, Ford Bronco, we've seen the Heritage Edition floating around in a four door version with the square fenders, and we've kind of seen those square fenders before because, well, we've seen the Everglades, right? And it's basically the same thing. Well, now, Ford Authority has gotten some spy photos of a two-door Heritage Edition. Now, it's in a color that I thought might be going away for 23, but it doesn't look like it is. But uh, let's just get into these pictures because, cool. There she is in all of her two-door glory. And uh, of course, they got the grill covered up. And we seen this yesterday. I did a video on this and you could see that it does say Ford there. But uh, I'd speculate that I thought Area 51 might be put away for a while. And uh, well, looks like it's not going to be. And that two-door looks really good in that color, I must admit, especially with the black painted roof on this thing. But those square fenders, man, on a two-door, that's the cat's meow, man. I'm not going to lie. The, I'm not big on the uh, roof racks of these things. If you are, so be it. You know, these are just my opinions. But uh, overall, the two-door of this thing looks great. And here's a side view of it. And uh, square fenders, man. Ford, why did we not bring square fenders out from the get-go? I get the whole Heritage Edition thing. But, uh, hey, uh, it's the classic look, in, you know, in a modern version of the Bronco. And, well, the modern version needs those square fenders. But overall, I'm, I still, the round fenders are great as well. Um, as we take a look, though, uh, not a lot of shocking stuff here other than the uh, painted roof. The painted roof on this thing, on a two-door especially, painted roof on the two-door looks perfect. I like, cannot say enough about this thing. And, uh, of course, you still get the throwback wheels that we've seen, and it looks like it's still going to be a Sasquatch package. But I do expect for some uh, script on the side of this thing. I think when Ford releases these for sale, you're going to see a little bit of extra that they're not showing us right now. But in the comments, let me know where do you think about this. But once again... This back corner, that that angle right there is classic Bronco. I cannot say enough about this thing. Like, it looks great. Uh, let me know what you guys think, though. Are you into this? Are you like, well, you know, I just wanted a Bronco. I'm, I'm tired of waiting and waiting and waiting for Ford. Just give me the Bronco I ordered. But here's the big news. Everglades, yeah, we've seen the Everglades before, of course, square fenders. But this is lead foot gray. This is a new color for 2023. And I reported this was coming a couple, a couple shows back but this i love this color and i think kelly had we uh, had this color at the time of purchasing ours we probably would want this so there you go well there you have it uh in the comments below let me know what you think does a two-door a two-door crowd where are you at and did you see that painted roof on a two-door man I, I can't get excited enough about that now the area 51 in this thing i kind of thought was going to go away i think a few of the colors are but i was proven wrong looks like uh, area 51 is here for another year and uh is cyber orange going to stick around I don't know, but we have, at the end, you saw the lead foot gray in the uh, four-door. That's a bitching color. I like that color a lot. And uh, so there you go. There is a two-door heritage edition. I want to bring this news to you. And uh, so whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, this big-ass loader, they won't let me drive. This is your All-Terrain Nation, and I'm your host, David Boyd, and we're out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.